Yeah, yeah. Let's get it. Good morning, guys. It's Big Boy JC. I got a couple minutes to talk to you about what's going on. I'm bringing some stuff back to the channel, some weight loss stuff. If you guys been needing to lose weight, a lot of weight like I do, then uh, you're in the right place. Stay there. Make sure you got that notification bell slim so you don't miss out on my videos on Saturdays coming up. I'm going to do a video every Saturday after I go weigh in at my uh, doctor's office. And I'll do another video during the week just to get up and let you know what's going on in the, my world and uh, how my weight loss is coming. So you guys know, if you follow me from way back, you know that I was a big keto guy a couple years ago when I was losing weight. And that's typically how I lost you know, the weight that I did lose from uh, 489 pounds. And I got down to like, uh, I want to say like three... 363 something like that is the lowest I got and then I held it there for a while was comfortable there for a while and then uh, I got hurt again in uh, 2021 July 2021 I fell and hurt my hip and uh, gained it all back again so this time around I'm trying to stick with something that I think is going to be more sustainable even if I get hurt again or if I get laid up again and, and can't move and can't exercise, um, I'm trying to find something more sustainable. And there's all kinds of diets out there, guys. There's all kinds. You got to go pick through the ones and see which ones you like. Try them out. Try different ones out. If it doesn't work, throw it in your diet toolbox. You may need it to do something else later on down the road, but you know how to do it. So you can just reach in, grab it, pull it out, and use it, you know. Diet and weight loss takes a lot of different tools sometimes. Sometimes you gotta use one tool until you can't use it no more. And use another tool, you know, and then use another tool. The perfect diet is one that everybody can find that you can eat what you want, eat as much as you want, and not have to worry about counting calories or uh, micros or anything like that. It's the best diet that anybody could ask for. So, that's why I'm gonna tell you I'm starting the carnivore diet. I started three weeks ago. I'm down about uh, 10 pounds and I'll tell you why. One is I started testosterone therapy uh, seven weeks ago and they say that you gain muscle as you're losing weight so it throws the scales off. So my first week after uh, weighing in on uh, the carnivore, I lost seven pounds. And the second week I went back and I gained four pounds back. So now I was only down three pounds, but was it because of the carnivore diet or was it because of the steroid injections, the uh, testosterone injections? I don't know. This week when I go back to get my shot and weigh in, we're gonna do lab work and we're gonna check all my levels and everything like that, my what's in my blood. And we're gonna also do a, another body composition. So we're gonna see how much my fat has changed and how much my muscles changed since I started seven weeks ago. So I'll keep you guys posted on that on Saturday, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss that uh, video. But yeah, the carnivore diet, guys, if you're looking for something that's easy peasy, if you like meat, if you like to eat, you want something that's not going to go old on you and you get tired of, hey, look into the carnivore diet. Go follow Ken Berry. He's a doctor. Go listen to him about it. He's got lots of people that he talks to about the carnivore diet. If you just start searching carnivore diet on YouTube here, you'll find lots of people, lots of respectable people that you can listen to on their thoughts of carnivore. Me, I've done it before, so I know it works. I just didn't stick with it after I got hurt that first time. So this time I'm going back and I'm going to stick with it and uh, keep on doing it, you know. I had a little bit of concerns about it last time, but now it's been a couple of years. There's more research out now than ever on the carnivore diet that tells you that it fixes ailments that you might have, skin conditions, you know, diseases, immunities in your body, you know, it tells you all these things that it can fix by going on the carnivore diet. So if you have any of those things, why wouldn't you try it? At least try it, you know, but I understand, do some research. 
check it out, see if that's what you want to do. And if it is, then hang out, hang out, hit that subscription bell here, subscribe, see what I talk about, see what I do and see how carnivore affects me on a, a weekly to monthly basis. And we'll go from there, you know, so do the best that you can do. Check it out, do some research. Meet me here on Saturdays. I'll be here every Saturday when I weigh in and uh, we'll talk about my uh, carnivore experience there. So I'll let you guys know my new weight, how much weight I'm losing every week and what I'm doing to uh, uh, get there with the carnivore diet. You know, sometimes you gotta try it and tweak it a little bit and get certain things done. You know, like when I gained four pounds, I think that week uh, I had an accident at work where an employee brought me a, a lemonade filled with sugar instead of the, the sugar-free zero calorie lemonade. And uh, you know, me like a dumbass, I should have threw it away or give it away or whatever, but I, I was thirsty and I went ahead and drank it. Didn't think that it would do anything to me, one little lemonade, but it made me kind of sick to my stomach and I had to go to the bathroom a few times uh, to get rid of that sugar that my body's not used to now. So then when I weighed a couple of days later, I was four pounds up. And also the other night before that, I ate, I ate real late. I ate a couple hours later than I normally do. I was busy, I was doing stuff, and I just didn't feel hungry, so I ate a late night meal that night and got up early and weighed, and that's where the four pounds was at. So I gotta pay attention to those things, figure out what's going on, and just tweak it to my advantage and uh, keep on trucking and get this weight loss down. You know, build muscle while losing weight instead of losing muscle and fat at the same time. That's one of the best things I like about the carnivore diet. Look at some people that lost a lot of weight on carnivore, see what their body composition looks like compared to people that lost weight the traditional way by cutting calories and working out all the time, you know? Two totally different body structures if you go check them out. And we'll talk about that maybe in the next video if you guys want to. Hit me up down in the comments, let me know. Let me know what you got, kind of questions you got, what kind of answers you got. Maybe you've done it before. Let me know what your carnivore experience was. Comment, please. Help me on this channel. Give me a comment. It's free. Doesn't cost you anything. And it helps me tremendously. So I got to get into work, guys. I hope you guys have a great, wonderful day. If you see your loved ones, let them know that you love and care about them because tomorrow's not always promised. And uh, remember, it's a journey. It's a journey. If you're on the carnivore journey like me, it's uh, one steak at a time, baby. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Keep your head up.